Ah, Slayers, it's time. The busted brave weapons are here. We have a lot to unpack. Today, I'm giving you guys my personal god rules and the clear cut god rules on the brave weapons that just launched with Into Light on slot. This includes the PvP pairing and PvE pairing, considering these weapons are capable of both. Where some shine more in their respective field, find anything helpful today. Be sure to spank that like button and subscribe, ringing the bell as Talent Slayer creates educational content all the time. Important things to consider before we even bust our load to these creamy rolls. In the final shape, the Brave Arsenal weapon perks will be retroactively enhanceable. Indomitability, origin trait, packed on all the Brave weapons. Final blows grant grenade energy when playing a light subclass. Melee energy is granted when playing a darkness subclass. As of right now, the Recluse, the Hung Jury SR4, Succession, Edge Transit, Elsie's Rifle, and Falling Guillotine are up for grabs as of April 10th. The remainder will unlock one at a time each week. On April 16th, the Mountaintop and Midnight Coop. On the 23rd, Hammerhead and Forbearance. And finally on the 30th, Blast Furnace and Luna's Howl. Now starting with our kinetic slots, Hung Jury SR4. It's good for both PvP and PvE. Hammer Forged, Acarized Rounds for PvP. Otherwise, try for Appended Mag. Rewind Rounds in PvE or Kinetic Tremors in third column. Rewind is best in slot due to this season having scouts on overloads. Now in fourth column, we got Desperate Measures or Precision Instrument. Desperate Measures is as follows, Bust Damage on Kill in grenades or melee kills greatly improved a damage buff. So basically Golden Tricorn. We know Golden Tricorn is up to 50% damage buff in total with both procced. Not sure to the exact amount for this perk, but it should be in line with Golden, if not slightly better. For PvP, go with Box Breathing or Dragonfly in 4th column. Now, the Succession is PvP and PvE friendly. Go with Polygonal Rifling, Extended Mag, for PvE Reconstruction, or Demolitionist works here. With Reconstruction being best in slot to get us up to 8 shots in the mag. Fourth column, Recombination or Redirection, with Firing Line being usable if you can't get the other two to drop. Recombination is as follows, increases damage up to 10 stacks, being a 100% damage buff on the next shot. Each stack is worth a 10% damage additively. Now, elemental final blows increase these stacks, so for instance, any incandescent weapon getting explosions, void volatile explosions, and any strand elemental effects like unravel, etc. add to the stacks. Redirection can give you up to an 100% damage buff as well, but you need to hit rank and file combatants with the particular weapon, in this case the succession, to build the stack, so I feel recombination is far better. So you'll be using that primary more often to add clear, so getting those elemental procs will be easy anyways. And while firing line is a 20% damage buff when near two allies or more, so dead last. Box breeding is a little more to a 28% damage buff, but you have to be scoped in for a bit first. As far as PvP goes, moving target and snapshot, even though just using a, a no distractions firing line roll, it felt pretty fantastic in control today. Now moving to our heavy slot, we have the Edge Transit Void Heavy Grenade Launcher. Seems the Regnant Grenade Launcher from Season 1 of Lightfall, I believe it was Season of Defiance, is already power crept. As this being a brave weapon, you can get up to four perks, two in each column. And you can get lucky and get that repulsor destabilizing roll plus chain reaction and either bait and switch or explosive light. For PvP, you have impulse amplifier and a full court pairing. Falling guillotine is back and busted as ever. The two top picks I'm looking at here will be chain reaction and sword logic. With maximum stacks of sword logic granting a 50% damage increase. Now, I'm not sure if sword logic is increasing chain reaction damage or not. If so, it's even better after Sword Logic. Desperate Measures will be good as well, especially on a Banner of War Titan. Lastly, our Energy Slot. In their respective videos, we'll do a deeper dive after we've had more time to test out these weapons. 
the recluse starting with the tried and true pvp pairing hammer forged ricochet rounds dynamic sway reduction and tap the trigger call it a day feeling spicy in fourth column we do have master of arms and desperate measures it's also an option Based on D2 Foundry, there's no set amount for the damage increases on either perks yet. And then to note, honorable mention for Void builds, the Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Round combo are great as well. Finally, my personal favorite so far, Elsie's Rifle. PvP wise, we go full bore, ricochet rounds, keep away and head seeker. This high impact frame is giving the messenger a run for its money. For PvE, rewind rounds the third column. Under Over and Repulsor Brace are beefy as well. In the fourth column, we have Destabilizing Rounds, but Desperate Measures feels really good here, even more so pairing it with a Controverse Hold Void Lock. Woo, this is a spicy one, Slayers. Thanks for sticking through. Meet me in the comments and let me know what roles you're chasing down and why. See you on stream. Town Slayer streams Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. EST on Twitch.